Hey there YouTube, this is Robert with another Quick Tips video with another viewer requested content. Newport Cycling asked me to do a little bit about making equations and more specifically deleting equations, um, some real, word, real world usage here, and uh, admittedly it's a bit weird, um, it probably should be changed, but as we can all experience, probably won't. So we're just going to do a quick demonstration of, of, of what I interpret this problem to be. We're going to try to do this super quick video, so I'm not going to answer all of the questions he had in his comment. Um, but let's just do a quick sketch here. I'm just going to make a rectangle. We're going to throw two dimensions on it. Make this one four. And we'll make this guy four. Okay. So, and then we're going to make a quick extrude. So, let's just say we've got this rectangle that we've made here. And I've got Instant 3D turned on, so when I click on my model, I get the dimensions to show up. Let's just do a quick save on this. Yes. Okay, so let's say I want to link this to a uh, global variable or just a value. If you make the mistake of using the equal sign and just putting a number, it'll do the same thing as if you make it equal to a global variable. So let's just make this equal to 5. Okay, This uh, equation logo shows up and then we hit enter again and it applies it and we get this E, this equation symbol, on our dimension. And that's all well and good so I'll rebuild and it'll stretch and there we go. So let's just say, oh, well, maybe I don't want that to be a dimension anymore. So let's edit the sketch. All right, and you say, okay, I really don't want this anymore. So I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard, and that's going to get rid of the dimension. And now I'm going to add a new dimension on there so that way I can give it a new value. But when you start the dimensioning tool, that equation E is there already. Why is that? I can't seem to get rid of it. Um, delete it again. Okay, let's put it on a different spot. Let's put it on this X. What? This one's an E2. And when I click it, it automatically goes to 5. That is really annoying. Uh, and, we, and we go, how do we get rid of this equation? It's just stuck on 5. Well, what's happening is well, there's a couple things. The first thing we want to do is we want to look in here at tools and then equations. What has been made here is an equation for that dimension. D1 at sketch 1 is equal to 5. When we delete, and click OK, when we delete this dimension, say, and uh, exit the sketch, we get errors. It says the, that there's, there's, an inva there's a problem with the equation. And if we go Tools, Equations, or you can come over to the Equations folder, right click and go to Manage Equations. Look at that. There's an error, but we don't. Even, there is no D1 anymore. Um, the way to delete them is you come over here and you got to click on this first column, which will highlight the row, and then you can hit the delete key on your keyboard, and it will remove the equation. Go back into the sketch, drop a dimension. The equation symbol is gone. We can make it whatever we want. Um, the those of you who are familiar with computer programming will probably have a better time understanding why this happens. Every dimension in SolidWorks is given a name. When you double click on the dimension you'll see it up here, D1 at Sketch1, or if you single click on it and over here you'll see primary value, D1 at Sketch1. This is the variable name for that dimension. If the equation remains in the equation manager, then it will pick up on that name and it will duplicate it and, and give you problems all day long. Now, there's one thing that we can do to mitigate this problem, and this is really relevant if you're going to be doing Excel sheets as well, is you can actually rename this dimension. So it's always going to be at sketch one because it's in the sketch, right? It's in the sketch one. But we can give it a name here if we want, call it like length at sketch one. Check. Let's make it equal to something again. Let's make an equation. We'll make it equal to 4. So we've got an equation created. And if we go to Manage Equations, you'll say length at sketch 1 is equal to 4. All right? If I delete the dimension, I just hit the delete key on my keyboard, and go to my dimensions and recreate it, no problems. No equation symbol. Why? Because it's not called length anymore. It's called D1 at sketch 1. So if we do a little bit of pre-planning, then we can avoid some of these problems, uh, especially if you're. Uh, that, that's especially useful if you're using uh, 
spreadsheets or uh, or anything to control your model because you can reference those values and it's easier to remember than just D1 at Sketch1. Hope that's helpful. I'll try to do a few more videos on using uh, design tables and spreadsheets to control your model. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. You can leave me a message or leave me a comment on subjects that you would like me to cover or, and it always does this, go away. Uh, quick tip. Uh, if you're using Windows 7, you need to use an arrow theme, otherwise it's going to ruin your display. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like me to do uh, with SolidWorks, uh, leave a comment or email me, mudrock1221 at gmail.com. Have a great day.